for the opening race of the season, we're off this year to the Kingdom of Bahrain. Here, set into the sand, lies the Sakia circuit beneath the desert sun. And off we go into the first corner, a tricky affair, especially on the exit, as that decides who'll emerge best onto the long straight that follows and be the quickest to reach top speed. The drivers accelerate here to 300 kph, still doing 110 around turn four, despite unpredictable track adhesion. Fine desert sand impairs the tyre's grip. New to every driver is the following section. The circuit has been extended by around 900 metres and eight corners. That's because for the first time the rules now allow 13 teams on the grid. So there are more cars in the race than before. Especially early on, with a full tank, this new section is a tough test for the tyres. With 140 kilos of fuel on board, the demands put on them are extreme. For the driver too, the new circuit layout is naturally also a challenge. With full concentration, they continue through turn 16 and onto a key section, an almost blind double corner. The drivers have to simultaneously brake, turn and keep an eye on their rivals, otherwise a couple of places can soon be lost. Then it's flat out down the back straight, braking late into turn 19 and accelerating away again as soon as possible. It's pure adrenaline for the drivers. And if things ever go wrong, large runoff zones ensure only a loss of time rather than serious consequences. Thanks to modern planning, track safety today is considerably improved. But now it's flat out again downhill along a high-speed section, at the end of which is a good overtaking opportunity for the drivers. Dive out of the slipstream, brake late and turn ahead of your rival onto the start-finish straight. That, at least, is the theory. On Sunday, the drivers can try it out here a full 57 times.